clean, 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 clean. Clean, 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 clean. Oh. Clean, clean, clean. Hey guys, welcome back to Jill Comfort Zone. Hey. What's up guys? This is gonna be a quick video. Can y'all guess what I'm making? Yes, we are about to make some delicious potato salad. And I know a lot of people don't like onions and green peppers and all that stuff in there. I like, not crunchy crunchy, but you know, I, I like mine to have a little bite to it. So, but mine's are so fine that when I dice up, you know, it's, it's, it's not really outstanding, but anyway, my um, boiled eggs, I've boiled the eggs already, so they're boiled, um, and then I'm going to dice up the green pepper, red pepper, and the uh, onion, okay? We got some celery I'm going to dice up. Uh, of course, we need our sweet relish, and we got our potatoes, which I'm about to cut up and put in our boiling pot of water back there that's boiling. It's come I'll put it in there. It's salted water in there already. Uh oh, this is dill relish. I don't know. I like the sweet relish, but we're gonna work it out. And I put a little paprika just for coloring decoration. Okay, I don't put it in the mix. Um and I use the garlic powder, onion powder, the Hellman's on deck. Yes, I only use a little bit of whipped cream. It add a little, a nice little tanginess a little bit to it. Not too much when you taste the sweetness. And we got our French yellow mustard and we have some Himalayan salt and uh, peppercorn medley back there and some parsley, you know, decorations again. So yes, let's get started on this dish. I'll be right back. Hey guys, I am back. So as you can see, I have my egg yolks in here, and I got my egg whites that I use with my Tupperware um, chopper, right? And so we're just going to take, and as you heard me, Jazzy brought the wrong relish, but it's all good because I'm, they don't like, well, Jazzy don't like potato salad. I don't think Sabrina likes potato salad either, but... And I know y'all tired of my ashy hands, but you know what? I'm in water all day. And my skin, yeah, I'm washing, washing. I'm not going to grease every time I come on here, okay? Especially not today because it's Christmas. I got dishes to get out, right? So this is what we're doing, breaking up them egg yolks, all right? I love lots of relish so i don't know how this is going to go for me today but this is a task for me and a challenge guys because listen i do not like measuring y'all know that i have a hard time making small amounts of food i do so this is all i have and i love sweet relish so this is how i'm gonna measure about how much potatoes i can make for my potato salad okay and i think i need a, a little bit more of the white, okay? So this is what I do. So I eyeball my recipes, y'all know that. And I apologize, but <laughs> that's probably like about two teaspoons or a tablespoon or so, all right? You saw that, two teaspoons of the mayo, right? All right? Then we're gonna come in with a little bit Like I said, I like it for the zest, the zestiness, okay? And I always, always 
mix this first and taste before I come in with my seasoning. That way I know if I used too much mayo or whatever, mustard, and then I know I need to balance it out. Okay? So let's see what we working with thus far. Just tasting it. Because I don't have a lot of relish. All right, I'm gonna add in my pepper, celery, and onions. Give that a whisk. I have some pink Himalayan salt. That's it, you don't need a whole bunch. Remember, I only have a little bit of relish, and I'm a big relish girl, okay? <laughs> yeah, I know, but I appreciate you guys joining me in the kitchen in the holidays. It feels so good to have you guys with me today. going for another taste. Mm. A little bit more mayo. Just a touch. I like to taste as I go. Especially when you're doing dressings. Okay. It's very important. And use whatever you like, as I always say, to your liking. And this is a go. All right, guys. So we have our potatoes. That's been draining. And it's been boiled. So look, I made just the amount of potatoes. Oh, yeah. So I'm going to add that. I'm going to leave out a few because we're going to see... We're gonna see what these do first. All right. And I'll just start mixing them up. And it'll break up a little bit, but not too much. Oh, look at that. I got enough sauce, y'all. Yes. Look, I told y'all this is a challenge for me. I don't like mine's very chunky, and I don't like them mushy. Let's see what it's giving. Only thing I need is a little bit more salt. So I'm gonna add a little bit more salt in here. And I'm gonna place this in a bowl and I'll be right back. Hey guys, look, I almost forgot one thing. Yes, just because I like a little spice to it. Just a little kick. A little kick. My mom always added that. And I put a little bit more mayo. So this is going to sit in there. And baby, when this come out tomorrow to eat, that delicious food. Mm. Child, after it's done marinated, y'all. Y'all don't even know. All right, I'm going to put a little in the bowl, in the dish. Look, I used to wait until my mama, okay, used to take the bowl, and I used to want to, <laughs> I used to want to just put my fingers in it and wipe it around to eat it all. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I did. Like, I'm about to take this spoon and eat that. Mm-hmm. Mm. Okay. Yes. Then we're going to, um, um, pass me a knife, please, baby. 
Then we're going to just take our little, you know, slice a little eggs there. Little eggs. They were cold, guys, because I prepped and boiled it ahead of time. Right, right, right. Like so. Right? Yeah, no. Ooh, too much. See? I shouldn't sprinkle stuff. Because you know Jill. Don't know nothing about sprinkling, okay? Just for a little color. Just for color. That's all paprika is for Guys, color. Ain't no taste in there. Ain't no taste in no paprika. Come with a little bit of dried parsley flakes. A little greenery in there. And bam. Potato salad. Alright. Well, I hope y'all enjoyed this recipe. Thank y'all guys for coming. As always, I love you, love you, love you. I appreciate your support. Um, thank you for being with me on Cookmas for seven days. Oh my goodness. I hope you guys enjoyed that as well. If you're new here, welcome, welcome. It's always a pleasure to see new faces and new people. Leave me a message down below. I love, love, love reading my comments. Sometimes I'm behind. Because it's a busy scene behind the scene. But I will get to you and um, shout you out. I want to thank all of my non-content creators. Oh my God. I'm going to do a special thank you video for you guys. And I'm going to be planning something. So I can do a giveaway for my non-content uh, creators. For always coming to the channel and supporting your girl Jill. I appreciate you all, and I really love you guys. So, with that being said, if you like what you see here and your heart feel content to do so, please go ahead and click that subscribe button and turn it gray. Mm -hmm. And click the notification bell so you can be reminded when I come to you with another recipe. And all I want to do is just love on you while you love on me. And don't forget to thumbs it up.